What up, YouTube? Topaz Jason. I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Contraband. Then, we're going to review this Method Man album. Then, we're going to jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. So this Method Man, Meth Lab Man, quite honestly, this is the most disappointed I've been maybe all this year because I was so fucking hyped for this damn album you did. When he first dropped the opening single and such, the Meth Lab, the title song, man, I thought that this album was going to be dope. But sadly, what we really got here, man, is pretty much a mixtape of Method Man and Friends. Pretty much every track except for maybe two or three got maybe one to three fucking features on their due, so ultimately, it's not even a Method Man project. And you know, that just says that I'm not inspired enough to create this project and do it on my own. I have to feed off of all of these other individuals that I'm bringing in and such, man. In which, some of the people, legacy acts that I definitely wanted to hear on this project from Red Man, Inspector Deck, Ray Kwan, hell, I even wanted to hear Mac Wilds and shit, just because I still fuck with him from the wild, man. But everybody else, come on, dude. And out of what, the 17 or 18 tracks that was on this motherfucker, I would say only two songs I actually liked. And as I said, the song that leaked first, The Meth Lab, is one of them, man. And then Lifestyle was the other one, dude. All of the rest, subpar. Method Man being my favorite out of Wu-Tang, man. I expect so much more out of this dude, man. But yet, sadly, get disappointed on such a fucking level, dude. Overall, I give this project a 5 out of 10. And that's Generous five. Hopefully the Crystal Meth project is gonna be more centered around him, man. He'll get doper production, man. He'll definitely put together better fucking songs than what he did off of this shit, dude. But quite honestly, my hopes aren't that high anymore. But Anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about parasites, man. Because this is one thing that everyone who reaches success experiences, man. People that are pretty much just living off of you and your generosity, man. You got to understand, you can't do that shit, man. See, once you succeed, man, a whole lot of people gonna come to you asking you to pay for certain things that they need and all of that shit, man. And which... That's not your responsibility, but I know a lot of people would want to look out for such, but in the end, you can only really take care of yourself. I mean, this is the same shit that happened with MC Hammer. Yes, he lived a little bit way too luxury than what he actually had and shit, but yet that man held down the fucking bay and a whole bunch of families and shit that he really didn't owe, in which that definitely contributed to the fact that where he's at now and people still making fun of him and shit. See, what you can do is you can provide an opportunity for these people to stand up on their own. You can employ these people to have them stand up on their own, but you can't give them the money and shit and expect all of the problems to go away. That's just going to continue the fucking cycle of them having to try to come back to get more money off of you, man. Like, these are grown-ass motherfuckers that put themselves in these grown-ass issues and shit, man, in which they have to do their best to get out of that shit. You are not responsible for that. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.